But first, a new report out tonight finds North Carolina among the worst in the country for the condition of its bridges. While South Carolina comes right around the middle, North Carolina is at the bottom of the list, home to more problematic bridges than all but five other states, even more than New York and California. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Rachel Brown. And I'm Fred Shropshire. The new report comes just days after a Tennessee overpass collapsed in Chattanooga. The driver of that blue car only suffered minor injuries. For months, the defenders, Nathan Morbidos, questioned the Department of Transportation about the structurally deficient bridges in the Charlotte area. He's live near two of the busiest ones tonight. And Nathan, the state planned to start repairing those bridges this year, right? Hey, Rachel and Fred, yeah, they plan to start those repairs, but the repairs on this bridge and another just a block away are now delayed until next year at the earliest. Tonight, NCDOT is assuring the public that this bridge and another on 277 are both safe. They go over North College Street and Brevard Street, but state records show parts of the bridges have deteriorated and need to be fixed. They carry tens of thousands of cars every day, but even bridges rated fair sometimes fall down. Proof just days ago in Chattanooga. This concrete beam falling after an oversized load reportedly damaged the bridge. 340 miles east. It's just something that I think can definitely happen. The North Carolina Department of Transportation continues to chip away at its long list of bridge repairs. In this new report, the American Road and Transportation Builders Association identified roughly 10% of all bridges in the state as structurally deficient, which means one of their key elements is in poor condition. So any structure that we have, if it's available to the public for use, it's safe to be on. The state documents bridge problems yearly during routine inspections. We've shown you several of them in recent months. And CDOT insists fixing these bridges remains a priority, already repairing hundreds since 2014, and currently funded to repair or replace at least 250 more structurally deficient bridges by 2030. That improvement that we've already seen, we want to continue that in the future, and it will get us to our target. Now, while we wait for the repairs here, keep this in mind, North Carolina has a long way to go to catch up to South Carolina. North Carolina has twice as many structurally deficient bridges as its neighbor to the south. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. All right, Nathan, thank you for that report.